All right, so I'm up and at it super early today. It's like just after six o'clock because I just got something in the mail and I'm so excited to try it out. So these guys over at Pull Up and Dip, they sent me this pull up bar that you attach to like a tree trunk. And I'd seen this on the internet a little bit, so when it showed up in my mailbox, I was so stoked to try it out. So I'm not affiliated with these guys at all, they just sent this out to me for free and I thought it'd be awesome to do a video and show you guys how it works and do a little bit of a review on it and also get a workout in because you guys know I love doing pull ups. So this is actually so perfect for me because like if I can just like throw this in my trunk and head out to you know a park or something somewhere and set up like an awesome stable pull-up bar like that's pretty key this is really exciting let's get this thing set up I have no idea if this is gonna be a good tree for it I've never set it up before so we'll see uh, I'm gonna learn as I go here but it does look pretty straightforward ideally that's what it's gonna look like when it's set up on the tree so here's everything that we need to set it up against the tree here. This is like the backing plate that everything gets mounted to. Um, this goes on first to protect the tree. These here are the handles. They feel actually really nice. Uh, this is like, you know, obviously fasten this to the tree. And then this is the piece that the handles attach to. Also in the box, they actually give you other handles as well. So like straight handles. And then they also give you this bracket so you could actually like attach it right to a wall. So sick. So you could have that at your house and then you could still have like the portable one to bring to a tree or whatever somewhere. Okay, so it was pretty easy to set up and it feels like way more solid than I thought it was. So like I said, it's pretty easy to set up. I was really surprised. I actually hardly even read the instructions. Check this out. Flip that sucker around and you've now got a dip station. This thing is so sick. I'm actually so stoked on it. So I was uh, reading some reviews on it and watching some stuff online and you have to make sure that you keep the weight evenly distributed across it. I mean, we can't expect too much from this. Uh, so you can't be like hanging front levers off one side or something like that because it does need even amounts of pressure on both sides. So I'm gonna try a few different movements on it first and just like see how it feels, make sure it's nice and secure, and then I'm gonna smash out a quick workout because I'm full of energy and it's nice and early, the park is still empty, no one here to bug me. I was just looking over at the ocean over there and the tide is nice and high, so I might get a good sweat on and then go for a quick dip. It's like, it's, the park's not even open yet, it's still before seven o'clock, this is amazing. Love getting up early.
All right, so initial impressions, it definitely works. It was a lot sturdier than I thought it would be. The grips are really nice. The design is like really good, simple, easy to use. It's really easy to switch it from that like pull up position to the dip position. You can also tell it's made of super durable and good quality materials because the metal is like really nice and thick and it doesn't flex or anything. You can just tell it's super good quality. I'll put a link down below where you guys can get it and that's the positive. Uh, the negatives, so it's pretty pricey but it is so much fun to use and it's really versatile and if you were to set up that plate at home and you could use the pull-up bar at home and then you had that one that was portable and you like to go to a park or something nearby, um, yeah, I think it's a great solution for people that want something like that. Definitely a positive experience using it for my first time. I will definitely be using it again. Uh, I think it would be so fun to have like that set up, to have like a slack line somewhere, to have like the dip bars, to have uh, you know like some rings hanging from the tree, just like a huge setup and you could have a lot of fun in the park. So yeah, I'm really excited about it. I got a good workout on. It wasn't anything too crazy, but uh, like a perfect little workout for you know a somewhat rest day, I guess you would say. I don't know if you guys can see that over there. There's a girl learning how to skateboard at the skate park and I love seeing that so much. Anytime anyone is trying to learn a new skill, I think it is so cool. And uh, she's obviously here like early in the morning so that there's no other jokers bothering her. But man, yeah, power to you girl. Friggin' learn that Ollie. But that's enough of a workout for this morning. So I'm gonna take this down. So I should say that Carrying it around in the box isn't the most ideal way to carry it around. I've seen people that put it in like a big backpack and they have no problems or in like a duffel bag as well. Um, but I just like opened it up this morning and <laughs> brought it out here as is so I didn't really have time to do that. So it's not light but it's definitely manageable and if it was in like a backpack or something it'd be no problem. You definitely wouldn't be going on like day long hikes with it in your bag <laughs> like you would with a set of gymnastics rings but uh, yeah, it's a definitely like super fun contraption to have. Another tool in the toolbox. All right, let's have a quick post-workout snack and go jump in the ocean. Ooh, what do we have here? So, you can never walk by something like this without doing a little front lever training. So, let's get it. Man, not the best. I definitely need to be practicing those more. <sighs> so check that out. You can still see the mountains have some snow on them. It's like the middle of July. It's pretty cool. As if you guys expected me to have anything else after a workout. <laughs> there is nothing like a good ripe banana after a workout. It's gotta be ripe. You gotta have those spots on it. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. All right. Admittedly, I'm not the biggest fan of like cold water and like open wild water like this. <laughs> I like pools, I love swimming, I like hot springs, <laughs> but I'm not that keen on this. I know it's gonna feel good, so I'm gonna go and do it. And we're actually really lucky right now because the tide is in here uh, and the tide is often out. And when the tide is out here, like Parksville's really well known for having a tide that just goes out forever. This whole area that you see, all this, all clears out almost to that point over there. And this, all this is all just sand. So uh, when that happens, you gotta walk like way, way out there to get to the ocean. So it's really nice that the tide is high right now. And usually the water is pretty warm when the tide's high because it's so shallow so far out there that the sun tends to heat it up, but maybe not this early in the morning, I don't know. Every single time, it's worth it. <laughs> I never think I'm gonna enjoy it as much as I do. And I found a little sand dollar. These things are so cool. I'll obviously put them back. I don't think there's anyone home though, it's hollow, but uh, 
So I don't know if you can see it, but the little pattern that's on there is so cool. Like, it looks like a little flower. It's just amazing that that's made by nature. Very cool. All right, so I think that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed spending the morning with me. It was fun bringing you guys along. I hope I've inspired you to get out there and move your body, exercise, maybe push outside of your comfort zone a little bit, jump into some cold water, do some pull-ups, eat a banana, learn how to skateboard. Just get out there, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and uh, shout out to Pull Up and Dips for sending me out that amazing portable uh, Pull Up and Dip Bar. That thing is so cool. I'm so hyped on that. So hyped on life. I'm so hyped on this day, this channel, having all of you being my friends. So definitely let me know what you thought about this video in the comments down below. I think it was a fun one. So eat plants, stay positive, get out there, move your body. See you everybody. Have a great day. The one question that matters most, can you muscle up on it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it's designed for muscle ups, but let's try it out. Okay, so you definitely can, but I think it would be easier if I like change those handles out because when you go to do it, the, the dip bar part of it kind of gets in the way. It's tough because your feet are pretty close to the tree, so when you try and get a little bit of momentum for it, your, your feet kind of touch the tree, but uh, I don't know, it might be good training for some people to get muscle ups. You just get that little bit of help from your toes. See if we can do a lever of some type. Yeah. <laughs> your head hits the trunk. Uh, maybe a straddle lever, like with your feet on either side of the tree. Straddle lever isn't something I usually practice. Kind of get a little intimate with the tree, but it works. 